Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is gonna be like a get ready with me chit chat. Um, I went to the to the store the other day and I picked up some eyeshadows. So I kind of want to use them use them in this video. Um, let me show you what I got. I got the Wet and Wild bleached glitter. <clears throat> And it's like a orange, orangey, peachy kind of glitter. Also, I also picked up the the Rebel Rose collaboration with Wet n Wild um, Bed of Roses palette. Let me show you. These are some really cute shades. Um, this collaboration is sort of like vampy kind of look. It's more on the dark side. They have um, dark liquid lipsticks, dark eyeshadows as purples. They also have um, primer, oils, and some pretty cool stuff. Y'all should definitely check it out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a look with this palette and also the glitter. <clears throat> If you want to see what I create, then just keep on watching. So, uh, first, I think we're going to start off with a little bit of chapstick because my lips are a little bit dry. And I'm using the just, just Vaseline. I really like this one. It's the Rosy Lips. Like, I like having long nails, but sometimes it's hard to do some stuff, like open a can of soda. And this chapstick smells like roses. It's so good. Alright. Now, uh, we're going to move on to priming our face with the good old coconut water from Wet n Wild. Guys, I can't, I can't even with this. It's super good. They also have um, rose water and cucumber water and I think I want to get the rest of them because it's so good. So I just spray it. Not too close to the face. I usually spray a good bit because it's just so refreshing and it smells super good. <clears throat> Next thing we're going to go in with is this e.l.f. eyebrow pencil in dark brown. Um, I'm going to try to do my eyebrows. I'm not really good at it because I usually don't do them. I just feel like they're dark enough and thick enough I but we're just gonna try it out see how it goes I have a mirror right here in front of me so I'm just gonna I just have to like really concentrate sorry my mirror is dirty I mean, practice makes perfect. I'm just going to take this spoolie. You want to take this spoolie to blend it all in, like with the hairs and stuff. Guys, I've seen some crazy eyebrows out there. Like, I used to work at Walmart. And I would have <laughs> all sorts of eyebrows come in that place. Like, I'm just like, wow. Like, I can't. And I would just try so hard not to laugh. I 
I don't want to fill them in too much because I feel like they're going to be really, really dark if I do. So I think that's what we're going to go with. Kind of scared to put some more on. It's going to be super dark. Um, so the next step we're going to do is priming the eyes. This is a really important step, guys, because you always want to lay a a base underneath your eyeshadows um, so the eyeshadows will blend really seamless seamlessly and you won't have like a weird eye look you know so I'm just taking the Maybelline fit me concealer um, in this channel I'm sorry if I say come a lot I'm so sorry I'm still getting used to this um, camera in my face talking to a camera <laughs> I'm just taking the beauty sponge from Real Techniques to blend that in so on this channel guys uh, I feel like I'm going to be using more of drugstore makeup because everybody likes everybody likes cheap makeup and also makeup that really works really good and I feel like that's what I go for like drugstore but it does the job you know I really enjoy um, the drugstore makeup now because I feel like they've they've done a lot they've changed things I feel like eyeshadows are way better drugstore eyeshadows they're they're doing great I feel so I do like shopping at Sephora once in a while but usually I try to go for <sighs> for you know um, like elf went wild those cheap brands Maybelline and you know what? They actually work. I really enjoy their makeup. So, next thing we're going to do, we're going to go in and prime the face. So, I'm using the Master Blur Stick from Wet n Wild. I really like this primer because I have big pores. Um, what it does, it just blurs your your pores so your foundation won't look like <laughs> did you guys see that I forgot that in the last video Noah had broken uh, my blur stick but I saved it because it's my favorite and I can't Blend it in with the beauty sponge. I really like um, sponges for like the liquids and everything like that. Um, and this sponge is really, really good. Uh, I know that there's the beauty blender at Sephora. I've had that one before, but I feel like this one works as good as that one. So don't waste, you know, this one's cheap. So come on. Who doesn't like cheap stuff? I'm taking this uh, Elf Matte from Matte Eyeshadow Palette and I'm taking this shade right here just to set my lids. Guys, make sure you set your lids too because then your eyeshadows avoid the stickiness of the primer we just put on. And that won't be a nice look. <clears throat> So to start off, you want to take a transition shade. And I'm going to take just a blending brush, a fluffy brush. We're going to take this shade right here. And these don't have names. Like, I wish uh, they did. It's just the brown matte shade 
So what you want to do is with a lot of pressure, push it down where your crease is and then once you move towards the eye, go really softly, blend softly. I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit off guys. Other eye. So I'm thinking of uploading um, more and like frequently, you know. Um, I think my next video will probably be the 15 and pregnant story. Just every blend, 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 blend. Okay. We're gonna take this brush. <clears throat> and this is the e.l.f. blending brush. I'm gonna take a limited shade um, right here. This shade. It's like a pinky. Like a, like a pinky shade. Guys, I'm not a pro at, at makeup. I did get a scholarship to go um, to a makeup school, cosmetology, but I didn't end up going because, you know, I had I had my son really young, and it would have just been hard. So I chose just to work and finish school. I did finish school, which I was a little bit behind at first and I thought I wasn't going to, but I ended up catching up and I did it. So, very proud. I think my son was a year. A year or two when uh, I graduated so I'm taking the wet and wild palette I'm gonna take this shade it's like a dark red reddish shade and I'm gonna take this brush All right, so we're taking this shade, the brush like this. It's like a red, like a dark red. I'm just gonna put it right here. The outer V area. Take the other side. I'm trying to really concentrate the mirror. <clears throat> Okay. 
we're gonna take this shade right here. It has like a little sparkle in it. And it's like a like a reddish vampy. sparkly kind of like I just feel like they look super cute I'm gonna put it right here well, like right in front of that color we just put down Gonna take the elf brush again, the blending one. Just to blend it a little bit more. Really take the time, guys. And you can get like these cheap brushes from Elf and stuff, and like equal tools and everything, because they're they're really good too. So we're just gonna leave the eyes for now. We're gonna go right to the face. And I am going to take my favorite foundation from the drugstore. It is the Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless. And I really like this foundation because I'm oily and this just holds my oils in. It makes me mad. Uh, <clears throat> I remember, I think I was around 15 years old. I didn't really quite get it. I didn't really quite get how, how my skin type could affect the products I would use for makeup. So since I'm, since I'm in, since I'm oily, I need more of a matte stuff. So I would get like highlighting, highlighting uh, foundations and like dewy foundations and dewy primers. And guys, I would look like a noily mess. It was awful. But then I started can't get like the hang of it. I've been doing uh, my makeup ever since I was um, 15 or so. I really really like liked it but now I feel like I've learned so many things. I also watch um, YouTube videos a lot a lot I really really enjoy watching people right now I'm really enjoying like Jeffree Star and Daisy Marquez and um This other Jillian, Jillian Mercado or something like that. 
Oh my god, I love her. She has vlogs. She has a baby. That is super cute. He has the most like cutest hair I've ever seen. It's so cute and curly. Oh my god, he's just the cutest. Um, but I've been getting baby fever, guys. Like in my Facebook timeline, all I see is babies, babies and babies, and especially baby girls. I can't, like I just, Ooh, I need to calm down. <laughs> anyway, now we're, that we have the uh, foundation on, I'm going in with the concealer and again the Fit Me from Maybelline. This is a great concealer. So yeah, um, have y'all heard about what happened to Jeffree Star and uh, him like being robbed and everything? I know maybe some of y'all don't like him, but I think he's awesome. Um, a long time ago, I used to listen to his song, <coughs> his music, and there's this song that I really like, and it's, um, I think it's called Prom Night or something like that, and I just can't believe how, how far he's came, and everything he's, a, a, he's accomplished, he has his own makeup line, which is so great, um, I got a scrub and two liquid lipsticks, I really want to get, um, some of his palettes as well because they look like they have a lot of pigment and oh it just looks so good so we have the concealer on now we're gonna go in with setting powder <sighs> guys setting powder is really really important because it holds your makeup so like say you touch your face or I don't know the weather is nasty um, your makeup could come off all you gotta do is set it uh, you get just gotta find a good setting powder this is the air spun and this one you can find at Walmart <coughs> Sorry. this is the extra coverage and I want the extra coverage because I am oily and I really really like to bake if y'all don't know what bake is is when you leave the powder for like I don't know a second or two wherever you think you're the oiliest the most you should put that so that for me would be my t-zone like my under eye my nose my chin my forehead right here and I'm just gonna go and pat just the rest of the powder all over just set everything and don't forget your neck it's really important. So I'm glad y'all watched the um, last video that I that I posted with with my boyfriend. <sighs> Maybe y'all were shocked that we had met on Tinder. Um, yeah, we. I never really thought, you know, like you never really think that could happen but it did and I am so happy it did because he has changed my life and I'm just a better person now he is my best friend and my son loves him I'm gonna take a brush real quick and just dust off the rest of the powder and he supports me with anything I want to do um, he's just so great. Um, in my 15 and pregnant story, I will be probably talking about um, my baby daddy and everything like that. No shade to him at all. Um, we get along right now. And I feel like that's uh, really, really good because it's good for our son to see that we're getting along. Um, so, now that we're set, we want to go, I want to go back to the eyes. 
so we're gonna put that glitter on the bleach glitter but I'm gonna take this NYX pigment um, primer so I like like my Target has NYX so that's where I get like my NYX stuff at Target guys I am obsessed with this. Like I was saying, uh, I am really obsessed with Target. I'm just gonna put the primer right here in front of the eye right here. Inner corner, is that where that is? And I'm gonna take that glitter. And put it where we put that primer. This is really pretty. Oh no, I forgot to put the primer on this one. Oh, but that's still really pretty. I'm not sure if y'all can see the glitter, but I think it's so pretty. Now we're gonna do the under eye, and I'm gonna take. Thinking of taking, I'm going back into the Elf palette. I'm just taking this pink right here. Some of this one too. Makeup, I just felt so weird when he was like doing my eyes because nobody has ever done my makeup. I've been the only one who's like really done my makeup, nobody else, and it just felt like weird like, get off my face. <laughs> I don't know, um, especially when he was doing the mascara. I'm gonna go in with eyeliner. <clears throat> and this is the Eye Echo uh, Liquid Eyeliner. And I really like the uh, fine, like the fine tips. I feel like I, that way I can really get into to the eye, <laughs> to the line. <laughs> so, I'm not really a pro at wings, so I just like to just... Just do the line up here. So I really gotta concentrate for this. And I think I fucked up already. That's as good as it's getting. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to go in with the mascara. And this mascara is the Tarte Man Eater. I got this in the eyeliner and the Ipsu bags. I uh, really recommend y'all get the Ipsu bags. It's, um, like expensive products, like Sephora products. 
but it's not sample. But hey, it's a really good price for those samples. It's 10 bucks for a bag, so. And you can collect the bags. It's like a different bag each time, and they're so cute. I'm just putting this mascara. Okay, let me tell you, um, I usually don't wear eyelashes because I feel like my eyelashes are already like curled. Again. So yeah, I was saying that my uh, eyelashes were curled, or like are curled already. They have like a natural curl. So I feel like when I uh, put mascara, it really enhances it, like it's super cute. <clears throat> but I will try out some eyelashes I bought some last time. So I really want to use those in a video. Um, putting eyelashes can be a, like a bit scary. But once you get used to it, it's like nothing. So I put mascara. Now I'm gonna go back to the face and I'm gonna go in with bronzer. And again, this is the Butter Bronzer from Physician Formula. Oh my God, guys, this smells so... Oh, I wish I had a candle. It smells like coconut, pineapples, tropical stuff. It's so good. So I'm gonna bronze up. You just wanna take from like your ear to your mouth and right there just blend it up. Um, bronzing because I look like it enhances your cheekbones it makes you look skinny you can also contour your nose if you want to make it look skinny and I feel like I have a huge nose alright so for blush I'm going to take this cute little blush I got in the Ipsy bag as well. And it's like a record player look. It's super cute. Sorry about my nails. And I got this brush also in the Ipsy bag. And it's the Clinique blush brush. And it's so cute. I love it. I've been loving it so far. So you just want to take that and put that in the apple of your cheek. Smile a little. I love like blush. It just makes you look happy. It adds a little bit of color to your face. Anyway, we're gonna go in with highlighter. Can't forget the highlighter. It makes you glow. And I'm gonna take this e.l.f. highlighter. And this is in the shade Spotlight or something like that. Starlight, starlight. I'm gonna take this fan brush and I'm gonna take the coconut spray and just wet it a little bit. That way my highlight is popping. Take on the nose. And guys, for this look, I'm going to be showing you two lip options. Whoa. This is pretty. So I just want to use this in the... <clears throat> like, what's this spot called? Inner eye? Something like that. 
something like that. I don't know. Ooh. Wow. So for the first lip option, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Nathan. He named it after his boyfriend. I'm just going to take that right Okay. So this is the look with that shade. I really like this shade, Nathan. It's like a nude peachy shade. So I'm going to show you the next option. And for this one, I'm going to be using a lip liner. I'm going to go in with a makeup wipe. And guys, let me tell you, I really like liquid lipsticks because they stay on when you kiss. And I always want to be kissing on my boo-boo, so... <laughs> I'm gonna take this, excuse me, this lip liner, and it's by the brand Illumesqua, and I, I believe I got it in the Ipsy bag as well, and this is in the shade, <clears throat> Lust, I believe that's the name, Lust. So I'm gonna get my mirror. What you want to do is you see the lines that are like up here you want to trace your lips and be careful with this guys you can overline your lips as well take this Anastasia I think this is a liquid lipstick as well yes and this is in the shade Veronica guys I got this liquid lipstick at Marshall's for $7.99 tell me that ain't good and I think these are about $12 or so at Sephora so I'm gonna go in I think this is like a dark purpley kind of shade. I really like the name Veronica. This shade is really pretty. Like a rock star kind of look, maybe. <laughs> I really like that lip. Ooh, Veronica. Okay, guys. <clears throat> this is the finished look. Let me bring you up close. Real quick. Um, the very last step is, of course, setting spray. Can't forget the setting spray. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, that's so refreshing. So yeah, guys. Um, I hope y'all like this video. And here, let me show you my eyes real quick. Um, so I think my video, my next video is gonna be the 15 and pregnant. Stay tuned. I uh, I feel like. I want to be doing my videos more um, frequently, maybe like twice a week. But yeah, I hope y'all really enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Have a great day, guys.